The cicada invasion that's happening in Middle Tennessee is real. Some backyards buzzing more than others. I'm a big fan. I love it so much, and so does this lady. She is an author who studies bugs with so much passion, and she writes children's books about it. We've got Heather Montgomery. She's written two books on the bugs, one on cicadas. Heather, good to see you. Hey, how are you doing? I'm so excited to see this an amazing, amazing emergence. You know, some people are a little creeped out by it, but... Like I tell kids, a lot of times when we're scared of something, it's because we don't know about it. Yes. So tell us what you really want people to know about cicadas and the sounds that we're hearing and how they're so omnipresent right now. Mm -hmm. Should we be worried about them? So first off, they can't hurt us. And they really don't hurt trees and plants. They do drink the sap or drink the juice from the trees. And they lay their eggs in the twigs. But in the big picture, it's not really hurting anything. And the amazing thing is they contribute so much to the environment. All the animals right now are having lots of food. That's what I was wondering. Is right. it a food fest right now for so, the birds? Exactly. And the birds are doing well. Their young will do well, the songbirds. So it's going to kind of have a trickle-down effect. But everything, I mean, foxes and uh, squirrels and everything's eating. Like everything right. that lives outside, eating. they're all eating the and, cicadas. And when the cicadas die their bodies will go into the soil and it's a huge pulse in terms of fertilizer for all the plants. So next year, the plants are gonna be healthier. The animals that eat the plants are gonna be healthier. It's this, it's this amazing thing that we just don't notice. Yeah. yeah, and we also, we find it, a lot of people are like, okay, that's gross and it's disruptive, but we're basically getting free fertilizer. Exactly, free oh fertilizer. Oh my goodness, nature's amazing. And it's just, it's just phenomenal the way these things happen without us noticing. And one of the things I love to do is just to stop and notice things. You know, if you actually look at a cicada's body, it's fascinating. Do you want to do that? Yes, I do. You brought some cicadas. So, cool. yeah. so here. They are no longer with us. Right. Um, so what we're seeing a lot of are okay. the adults that are bumbling around because they're not really great flyers. Um, yeah. And we're seeing... Okay, we're going to have you hold it still okay. so they can get a camera shot. And I'm going to come in really close, right? You got it. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Oh right. my you say check it out under a magnifying glass so you right? can Right. Really can you see, see the mouth part? It's like a little like yes. a little needle. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's how they get through the bark to get their drink. Right? Yeah. It's like I tell kids it's like a milkshake. You know, you poke the straw through the top of the milkshake container and there you go. Speaking of straws. Straws, you brought a straw. We only have a couple minutes left, but why did you bring a straw? So the male that makes all that noise, how he's doing it, he has a teeny tiny thing called a timble and it's like these flexible straws and he stretches it and it makes noises and he collapses it and makes noises. It's that. That's where the really, sound's coming from. And his abdomen is hollow so it reverberates, reverberates, just like a guitar. What's the name of your book right now? That Bugs we can Don't get? Hug. Bugs Don't Hug. It is out right now. You've got to get it. What a great book to read right now with That's the really kids. Fun. Okay, Bugs Don't, don't hug. hug. All right, get the book wherever you get your books. Heather, so cool. I could talk about this all hour. Right? Thank amazing. you so much. Yeah. <laughs> Good oh, to see you. There's so much.